Hi guys, it's me again, Fly With Me FPV, and uh, what I have here is the built uh, GEPRC MX3 Sparrow. It's a it's a three inch uh, frame, or it can, it, can, it can accommodate three inch propellers. Anyways, I have a part one video of this. If you haven't checked it out, I'll be putting it at the bottom of this video somewhere or in the description. Uh, I just went through the parts and uh, or what came with the frame but now I'm gonna walk you through or give you an overview of uh, what components I used and uh, maybe give you a bit of uh, you know, tips on how to to build this uh, frame uh, this was made in the ready and I will you know include that into the later part of the video uh, what can I say? First of all, let's look at the motors. These are the motors that I have on my previous 3 inch. It's an Emac, Emac, sorry, Emax 1306 uh, 4000 kV uh, red bottom motors. I've been using them uh, well for my 3 inch uh, builds in the past and I just uh, moved them over because I destroyed my uh, last remaining uh, three inch quad so the motors were uh, moved here and uh, I got uh, new or uh, ESC's that I have uh, running around I'm, I'm using 15 amp Emax uh, bullet ESC's here uh, you can't see it because uh, I already put electrical tape but those are the ESC's the motors are Emax again 1306 4000 KV uh, the props are, I think they was, these are just a DYS uh, 3x4 or 3x4.5. So I have a bunch of them, that's why I put them in here. Now, the camera, if you notice, uh, that's a Run Cam Micro. This one. Uh, it fits perfectly in the frame. You don't uh, even have to put, you know, like cut cut uh, nylon standoffs I've saw I've seen that in other builds wherein they cut the standoffs and then use that as spacer so that it would fit the, you know I think this is for four and five inch frames but here it is perfect it fits perfectly there and it's well protected by this uh, aluminium uh, assembly here a big fan of this type of frames uh, you know the, the one that I'm using the Beast X uh, has this too. Uh, GEPRC, some of their bigger frames have them too. Uh, D Quad Obsession, you know, those kind of uh, frames. I'm really good, uh, a big fan because it really protects the, the, the camera and all the other, you know, uh, components, electronic components. So that's the that's camera, Run Cam uh, Micro. Now, I don't know if you could see here, but I'll try to go through the... I basically used a Furious FPV PDB and a Pico BLX uh, clone uh, controller, uh, flight controller, and uh, it's not on 3.2 beta flight yet. I installed uh, uh, 3.17, uh, I believe, or 3.1.7. Anyway, it's not the not the tree two. That's what I'm trying to say. But the reason why I did that is because on my previous build, I the Spico BLX can actually uh, it is also a PDB. But I have uh, encountered problems when you know doing some crazy punch outs that uh, the quad just drops in the air. So I think uh, the amp draw. Uh, you know punch outs or whatever any any maneuver that requires amp draw uh, it this one reboots or whatever so I been very successful using a separate uh, PDB so and that's uh, Pico BLX uh, uh, flight controller over there I am using an XM plus receiver I don't know if you can see it there but that's the XM plus receiver there um, nothing really special about that. It's pretty cheap and it's uh, has a very very small form factor. So uh, That's what I used and uh, It's pretty easy to bind uh, nothing really special about it and uh, Run the antennas here. This is what I like about this frame. They, they came with these uh, two sets 
of different longer size and uh, this one this is the one that I use so really nice. I just had to uh, hot glue it there on uh, the piece of carbon fiber that was included there so I had a hot glue and uh, basically yeah it it, it, it holds this uh, even with minor crashes it's fine BTX I don't know if you could see that, but uh, this is a Ishin VTX3, VTX03. Uh, it's a very popular VTX because it's lightweight and it's, uh, I think, 40 channels, maybe more. And it has different uh, power levels too. So I don't know if you could see that, but that's the backside of the VTX. There you go. I'm using a linear uh, antenna for now until I could get my uh, Axi uh, antennas that have a UFL connector. So for now, this is, uh, and you could probably see that on the Maiden video where I'm getting a bit of, a, you know, static or whatever, like interference because as you know, you know, linear is not really good when you're doing flips and rolls. So that is just temporary for now. I'll be replacing that. So let's go through that again. Uh, I'm using a Furious FPV PDB. I'm using a clone Pico BLX, an XM Plus uh, receiver, basically XM Plus has two antennas. Uh, run cam micro, there you go, and a Ishin VTX, uh, Ishin VTX 03 there. All up weight with a Tattoo 4S 850 is 263 grams so you know 13 grams kind of over the 250 uh, limit so to speak but uh, it is one of the lightest quads that I've built considering that there's a uh, you know aluminium uh, parts and uh, you know this whole assembly usually these are just carbon fiber but I think by choosing the VTX03 and having it on linear antenna and a 20 by 20 footprint uh, flight controller that kind of you know uh, contributed in uh, lowering the weight anyways I will uh, show the maiden and uh, what you can uh, probably notice there is that the 1306 depending on the type of flying that you do if you're just you know going through trees and stuff and not doing crazy freestyle uh, maneuvers I think this is uh, good enough however if you wanted to do some crazy stuff uh, the motor might not the power from these motors might not be enough so maybe any 14 you know 1400 series uh, motors like the 1407 would be more suitable but again that would add up to the weight uh, I will probably change my motors in uh, you know in a few months because I have a lot of these uh, Emax 1306 and uh, see how it goes but for now I'm very uh, happy with the build and uh, the weight and how the components uh, go uh, in this whole assembly uh, it's not really tight you have a lot of wiggle room a lot of uh, uh, you could probably add another stack there if you notice it's not really reaching the top but uh, you know that's all, all up to you I'm not running any OSD here uh, I just run off uh, timer and I'm pretty comfortable with that some like you know to see voltage and all that other stuff uh, for 3 inch, uh, no, I'm not really particular. So anyways, uh, guys, that is the uh, GEPRC MX3 Sparrow frame. And uh, I'll show you the made in video. Thank you. <laughs>